Every day we use our mobile devices to make phone calls, read emails, share music and download movies. To provide all this data to our mobile devices, the mobile network consumes power. A lot of power. And most of this power is consumed by the base stations. And the base stations, well, they provide access to the internet and to the cloud. To provide more data and new services for 5G and the Internet of Things, even more base stations will be required in the future. In 2010, the Green Touch Consortium was formed to address this problem. The Green Touch had the ambitious goal to increase the network energy efficiency by a factor of 1000 by the year 2020. IMEC has been involved from the very beginning. As a research institute, IMEC applied its expertise in emerging hardware technologies to quantify the power consumption of these power-hungry base stations. Although base stations are the main consumers in the mobile network, there is only limited information available on their power consumption. To optimize the mobile network energy efficiency, a flexible base station power model is required. Such models should provide realistic power consumption values for different base station types, operation conditions, scenarios, but also over different hardware technology generations. Within GreenTouch, we developed such a model. Our model covers different base station types, ranging from small cell, pico cell base stations to large cell, macro cell base stations. But also, more disruptive base station architectures are covered, such as massive MIMO or large scale antenna systems. These base stations, they cover typically several hundreds of antennas in one base station and they serve multiple users simultaneously. In addition to the various base station types, several parameters can be specified to define the base station topology or its operation mode. Let us consider three different base station types, namely a macro, a pico and a large scale antenna system. In absolute values, the power levels between the different base station types differ a lot. By presenting the power values relatively in percentage, the model illustrates the breakdown of the power consumption over the different base station components. As this relative breakdown is different for each base station type, it is clear that the simple extrapolation of the power behavior from the macro base station to the other type is inappropriate, although this is common practice with legacy power models. Our model also permits to configure many base station parameters in order to adapt the architecture and the operation mode. The model is also future-proof. It predicts the power consumption values of the base station at any year between 2010 and 2020. To achieve this, the model implements different hardware technology trends at material, component and architecture level. And the impact on the power consumption is estimated. The model also provides the power consumption over different technology generations, in this case between 2010 and 2020. It is expected that the power consumption reduces with newer hardware technology. To compare the different base station types, the power consumption is now plotted relatively to 2010. Then, it becomes clear that Pico and large-scale antenna systems will become substantially more power efficient, while the scaling of macro base station is more limited. The model is also a sleeping model. Putting base stations to sleep is a promising technique to save power during periods of low data traffic. Some of today's base stations already have the capability to go to sleep. But this feature is typically very slow and not suited for dynamic and frequent usage. We expect that future technologies will increasingly support dynamic sleeping. To predict the impact and explore the benefits of dynamic sleeping, the power model should provide concrete power consumption values and transition times over different sleeping modes and technology generations. Now we will illustrate the impact of the base station sleeping on its power consumption. This shows the microcell power consumption as a function of the traffic load. When the traffic is high, the base station cannot go to sleep and the power consumption is maximum. During nighttime, the traffic load decreases. The upper curve represents the case where the base station remains active but reduces its bandwidth according to the load. For the lower curve, the base station sleeping is considered. The difference between the curves illustrates the benefit of applying base station sleeping whenever possible. Within GreenTouch, the power model was applied in mobile network research, and these research results are captured in the green meter. Using the model, along with other GreenTouch key technologies, a drastic improvement of the energy efficiency in the mobile network is achieved. But also beyond GreenTouch, this power model is essential. For the network providers and the operators, the model enables to develop 
new deployment strategies for today's networks, but also for the future networks. For the network researchers, the model enables to develop new green concepts, exploiting the flexibility of future base stations. For the base station manufacturers, the power model provides a clear benchmark or reference to quantify the power consumption of the base station, given the hardware technology available at a specific time. And finally, for the hardware manufacturers, the model sets clear flexibility requirements for the base station components. We are pleased to share this power model with you as a free online web tool. Please visit imec.be slash power model and use our model in your work. By using this Green Touch Key technology, we can sustain the evolution in the mobile network together and create new areas of services, businesses and industry with a vastly improved energy efficiency.